Thank you. Hello, my name is Ryan Adamovic, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator for Fager Automation North America. We are thankful to be a part of the IMTS conference, and we're looking forward to seeing you all again in person soon. At our last IMTS conference back in 2018, we discussed the technical advancements within the additive market. This year, our topic is more relevant than ever to the current needs of the manufacturing industry. These are uniquely challenging times we're in, and automation is playing a major role in keeping American workers safe with social distancing. It is more important than ever to have lights out machining capabilities that are both reliable and powerful. Tomorrow's success is very much tied to the accessibility of vital information relating to the operation and state of various devices on the manufacturing floor. This is why we have accelerated the development of our new web-based human machine interface. This is not a sales presentation. We plan to discuss the current needs of the industry, what our new HMI's capabilities are, and why we decided it should be web-based. We'll also discuss some of the inherent challenges of this new overhaul. Arthur Gogolski, our regional CNC sales manager and applications engineer, will also discuss some of the features of the Fagor control that are available now. This presentation is pre-recorded, but we will be answering questions live at the end of the presentation. Before we begin, we wanted to expand on Fagor Automation as a company and what we provide. Fagor Automation is part of the Mondragon Corporation, the world's largest employee-owned cooperative. The key takeaway from this is the amount of resources this gives Fagor. Mondragon has 15 full-size technology centers that constantly do R&D. In fact, at least 10% of Mondragon and Fagor's profit gets invested each year into the development of new hardware and software. The Mondragon Corporation also manages the University of Mondragon in Spain, which actually does research for Fagor automation in 3D additive manufacturing. Last October, Fortune Magazine declared Mondragon as the 11th most important company in making change in the world. Last year was Fager Automation's 45th anniversary. For those 45 years, we've been one of the world's leading providers for machine automation and control products. We provide CNC systems, linear encoders, angular encoders, servo drives and motors, and digital readouts meaning we are the one of the few existing companies to be a single source solution provider for both CNC controls, feedback devices, and servo drives and motors. Fager Automation has plants, offices, and distribution centers all over the world. But our main production plant and headquarters is in Mondragon, Spain. In North America, we have offices in Chicago, Los Angeles, and Toronto, and over 45 Fager authorized integrators. Fagor has been in the CNC control system market since 1978. In the 80s, we worked with General Electric to private label our control as the GE Mark Century 1. In the mid-2000s, several pioneers from the control maker Selka joined the Fagor team to enhance our five-axis milling capabilities. We built a state-of-the-art milling applications development lab in Italy to focus on creating high-speed surface cutting algorithms and other five axis features. All right, so now that we're up to speed with Fagor, what's HMI? Well, HMI is short for Human Machine Interface. It's software that allows you to interact or command a machine. Human, machine. Gas station terminals and ATM machines are the most common examples of consumer HMIs. The consumer follows the prompts that appear on screen, presses some buttons, and the machine mechanically responds. A good HMI for CNC machines not only enhances productivity, but also gives the operator insight to the machine's conditions, such as exact positioning on the axis, spindle load, spindle speed, active program, active G-code, tool data, 3D simulations of the part. An experienced operator will need to access everything at some point or another. Let's consider the current needs of the manufacturing industry. What does a control system manufacturer need to keep in mind when creating the next control interface? Well, 
our products are primarily used by aerospace, automotive, energy, medical, and defense manufacturing sectors. So all these sectors have seen a growing push for Industry 4.0 capabilities. IIoT has been resulting in an exponential growth for new business and is essential for converting factories into smart factories. We already talked about how lights out machining is very important, especially now with keeping our coworkers safe. But even outside of COVID, one of the most important resources is time. Being able to take better advantage of it than your competitor is often a deciding factor in securing a deal. We're also seeing a decrease in the manufacturing workforce. It's becoming more difficult to find people with legacy knowledge. And we haven't seen as much of the younger generations enter the manufacturing sector as we would have liked. However, our speed of connectivity is increasing. How so? Let's go deeper into this. Our edge devices, like our routers, are faster and can handle larger bandwidth. 5G cellular networks are beginning to be deployed. And faster drive speeds and CNC response time. External peripherals are more important than ever. Already we are seeing lots of aerospace manufacturers mounting cameras to the machine and having them interface directly to the control. These cameras are so accurate that when a new part is loaded onto the machine, the camera is able to measure the variation of the work offset and automatically input it into the program. In order to avoid any limitations, our new drives are capable of 100 MDB speeds using Circos 3 and EtherCAP protocols. This results in faster response time from the CNC and faster information reporting back to the monitoring software. The industry is changing. You need a new human machine interface that is designed for lights out machining and smart factory, designed for portability and taking full advantage of the insane new connectivity speeds we're capable of. Designed for not only ease of use, but also ease of customization. But how do we design it? Should we design the software with a proprietary API, or should it be open source? We have always used our proprietary API for our controls, but allowed the user to use the, our API to create custom screens that suit their unique manufacturing needs. For this HMI, we wanted to take a different approach. In order to streamline customization, maximize portability, we decided to use a universal web-based language. The Fagor HMI Elite, running on HTML5. Instead of using an application-based control software, the new control HMI is designed to run via browser. Designing the HMI using HTML code will allow even more customization options for the OEM and further enhances our Industry 4.0 communications across multiple devices, such as iPhones, tablets, Android, and remote PCs. What is HTML5? And why did we decide to make our human machine interface with it? Well, HTML is the universal standard for web-based browser language. And any website you visit today was designed in that language. It is the most powerful and complete interface for browsing. The earliest version dates back to the early 90s. HTML 5.3 is the most current version, being released in 2017, and it has several major advantages. It is designed to have better consistency across different devices, platforms, and browsers. This minimizes issues related to cross-compatibility and allows for better access to business intelligence. It has a more streamlined method of editing, allowing for less disruptive firmware updates. One of the biggest long-time benefits of the Fagor control is that we actually encourage the user to customize the software. Instead of having to learn to use our proprietary API, now anyone with website development experience can tailor the control interface. HTML5 allows for ver verified geolocation features, fulfilling the long-time need of having the ability to restrict remote monitoring for your machines to only safe locations. If you want to make absolutely sure that only people in specific locations can access your business intelligence, HTML5 enables the ability to make that happen. It also enables more touchscreen operations. We've had a touchscreen option for our control for several years now, allowing you to press to select, pinch to zoom in. While this just made it possible to operate the control without a mouse, we found that the enhanced touchscreen options offered from HTML5 focus on enhancing the operator's workflow. 
In order to change work modes, now you just simply swipe left or right. If you need the calculator for a parameter, it's now as easy as just long pressing the data field. The possibilities are endless now in the name of expediency. Finally, and most importantly, HTML5 is less resource intensive than our previous HMI, which greatly improves CNC performance. With the upgrade to a web-based HMI and the general push for more Industry 4.0 applications, we have foreseen some challenges. Fagor has allowed for the customization of our HMI for decades. Both the machine tool manufacturer and the end user have been able to take advantage of the Fagor API to create screens that better serve their unique manufacturing needs. The challenge now comes that the older custom screens will need to be recreated in the HTML language. However, the HTML language is widely known, especially for those with website development experience. So if the custom screens had to be recreated in a different language, we really couldn't have picked an easier language to use. As we try to attract a younger generation into the machine tool industry, there's a lot of HTML talent in that generation to get them involved. The pace in which OEMs and end users utilize this new technology depends on how much they're willing to invest on young minds and change management. No matter what, lights out machining is the future, and we believe that sooner or later, every control is gonna to move to an HTML-based or similar interface. Plus, HTML is the fastest platform available to rapidly integrate the advantages of IIoT. Most importantly, we don't believe that there will be any issues with operators navigating the new interface due to its intuitive design. To demonstrate this, we will do a brief demo on the ability to remote control a machine on a tablet using HMI Elite. We will be connecting to a lathe that's located in Spain from our Microsoft Surface Pro in Chicago. Right now we're in Google Chrome. I'm just going to open our login page that's bookmarked. An OEM might have their own page or their own proprietary app. Now behind the scenes, we have enabled our geolocation verification. So even if someone else has my credentials, they cannot log in from anywhere else besides our office. Perfect, so this lathe is over 4,000 miles away and I can access the CNC system like I'm right in front of it. This isn't as much as a screen sharing as much as it is browsing the CNC's personal website. Right now I'm going to full screen so we could take advantage of the entire Surface Pro display. I tap the Fagor button on the top left corner and I'm taken to a new mobile friendly home page. You can add and remove favorite screens to be displayed here. You'll notice that some of the screens are grayed out. The OEM has the ability to lock certain screens from remote access, so it, they could prevent me crashing the machine remotely. Obviously, if I was in front of the control right now, I could access things like machine parameters or tuning. The OEM has the ability to hide those things from remote users. We also have a new status screen that's perfectly designed for remote monitoring of the machine. From here, you could see the spindle load or axis load, the remaining program time, tool life, active tool, the machine status icons. Now, I'm on the Fagor CNC and I'm able to you take advantage of new touchscreen functions. With two fingers, I'm able to just slide to the next machine mode. Now I'm in execution mode. Now I'm in edit mode. I'm able to look at the program G code. If I wanted to, I could also select and browse the machine's directory, not the tablet's directory for different programs to load. I could also simulate this program remotely with 3D graphics. One of the nice things about the Fagor control is I could actually edit and simulate a program while another program is actively running. I can access my tool table remotely 
Now, with the new HTML software, I could also get rid of some of these fields if it's too overwhelming for an operator. Um, I could also activate tool monet monitorization, so I could set a time for the tool life in minutes to let me know when I need to replace the tool. Now, if I didn't have a keyboard attachment to my tablet, what I could do to enter in a field is I could just long press the field and I have a small numeric virtual keyboard that pops up. I could also convert that keyboard into a calculator Enter. One of the biggest things Fagor likes to promote is that you can create custom screens. This is just an example of a screen that an OEM can easily create for their platform. This is a web component. The OEM can develop any screen like this. The add and sub soft keys are an example of how you could use soft keys from a web component. This area reads real-time variables from the CNC in milliseconds. I could easily have an option to just change the color scheme. I could also add a MDI field to the screen so I can execute block functions. As you can see, the HMI Elite is truly platform independent. We just converted our Microsoft Surface Pro into a Fagor 8065. Overall, we're very excited about this new control interface, but we're not done yet. There are several existing Fagor control features that pair very well with the new interface. And we'd also like to go more in depth about our security features. For that, here's Arthur Gogolsky. Thank you, Ryan. The control system itself has had several recent hardware upgrades. Last year, we launched the Q7 Computer Numerical Control Platform, a top-to-bottom redesign of our flagship 8065 CNC. The Q7 platform is built with the current and next generation of manufacturing engineers and machinists in mind, while keeping the same goals we always had. Easy to use, more powerful than ever, and always backward compatible. The quad-core processor and 16 gigabyte NAND memory ensures lighting fast data processing speeds, efficiently storing the data while running complex toolpaths. Also available up to 128 GB of CFAST solid state memory. Fagor makes collecting data from your machine seamless, such as tool efficiency, load, feed rates, and spindle analysis. We intuitively keep all of your proprietary data safe and secure with Fagor security encryption of the Windows 10 operating system unnecessary or otherwise potentially problematic components, such as a fan or a battery, has been removed, making the overall control unit up to 60% slimmer and more reliable. Our Industry 4.0 connectivity package isn't anything new, but it pairs nicely with the new HMI Elite that was designed for Industry 4.0. Our connectivity package allows the user to tune their machine update firmware, and install features all remotely. It provides a channel to collect machine data such as machine access position, program names, torque, program status, emergency status, spindle speed, spindle direction, and spindle load. Any machine data that you can view at the machine. It interfaces with external devices such as Process Informer. One of our connectivity features that is widely used for lights out machining is our process informer feature. When machining a large complex parts or batch production, you may not require operator present at all times. However, certain incidents can still occur that could prevent the machine from continuing working. Our process informer can be set up to send out incident alerts to inform you, the machine user or machine management, about the machine status, allowing the user to take immediate corrective action. 
Our control is also compliant with MT Connect, UMATI, OPC, UA and SQLite. In the future, it will also be compatible with 5G speed transmission. We wanted to give the machine manufacturer the ability to use their own proprietary smartphone app that will monitor the control screen, machine data and any camera mounted to the machine. The data is coming in so fast, the user will be able to make decisions in real time, even away from the machine. Support is just click away. TeamViewer software is built into every Fagor PC-based control. If you have a question, simply call the Fagor service line, allow the technician to log into your control, diagnose and possibly repair the issue without costly on-site service call. This includes even tuning the servo axis, installing software options and program troubleshooting. Along with that, Fagor has digitally integrated manuals into the control system. Should you have a programming or setup question, press the help key and the screen you are on and the help menu will guide you step by step through the process on the operation. Artificial intelligence and IIoT go hand in hand. We already discussed how our goal with HMI Elite is to maximize the ability to control the machine remotely. But having someone in front of the machine can be important. Someone who has the experience to know what the machine should sound like and what should be concerning. Efficiency often needs responsive adjustments. You can see how this can be important barrier, not just to lights out machining, but also lesser experienced machine operators. DMC, dynamic machining control, is a feature that utilizes machine learning to adapt the feed rate during machining to keep the cutting power as close as possible to ideal machining condition. The old school way of doing this was having an experienced machinist manually turning up and down the feed rate during the machining based on how the machine sounds. What happens during lights out machining or if the operator is handling multiple machines? What if the operator is not experienced? With this artificial intelligence based feature, your machining center can intellectually learn the operation and set optimum machine conditions that you predefine in your machine parameters. The control is able to learn this by analyzing the tool load and makes very rapid adjustment when more load is encountered, thus reducing vibration, chatter, increasing productivity. Another important feature is our Fagor Collision Avoidance System. As the name implies, the feature when activated will monitor the movements of the machine in real time in order to avoid collisions between any part of the machine. This feature monitors the tool, fixture, the machine body, all with 3D models. When the Fagor CNC detects the likelihood of a collision, with this feature enabled, it stops any movement within the predefined safety margin defined by the machine configuration. This feature can be activated in all CNC states where movements are possible, such as automatic execution, manual display interface, MDI, manual jogging and tool inspection. You can also activate this feature during the simulation of the part program via simple soft key option. When the CNC detects that the tool will collide during the simulation, it stops the simulation, displays the collision reached error, indicating the program line and the block that would cause the collision. With this feature, you can prevent costly collisions, minimize downtime and keep your operator safe. Let's talk about our high-speed surface accuracy algorithm. Today's sophisticated CAD CAM software allows you to design a more complex geometric elements. The CAD CAM system generates cloud of points that must be managed by the CNC control. Depending on the user needs, Fagor Automation offers free exclusive machining modes where priority will be given to the time, accuracy or surface quality of the part, giving the end user even more flexibility in production. These three modes are 
fast. Fast method is focused on making the parts in the shortest possible time and is optimal for roughing operations. Contour. Contour method is focused on high precision machining. Surface. Surface method offers a combination of both to obtain quality parts with a high surface finish. Most importantly, these algorithms can be switched on the fly. Also, the CNC allows to select different sets of servo parameters to improve its machine dynamic behavior. Our high-speed cutting algorithms are very effective, but they are more effective in conjunction with our dynamic override feature. Dynamic override, not to be confused with dynamic machining control, allows the operator to manually adjust the overall machining conditions in real-time environment. Similar to how experienced CNC machine tool operators adjust axis speeds and spindle speeds during the execution of the part program, Fagor has developed a simple slide bar that adjusts the dynamics of the machine while executing a program. This will give the operator the ability to control the cutting speeds, part finish, surface quality, and machine vibration during the first run. Our on-the-fly features are both extremely easy and convenient to use and can be activated simultaneously. Security is absolute priority for all our applications, from the protection of sensitive data and programs to the protection of OEM PLC and subroutines. It is the matter of greatness importance that confidential information is guaranteed to be secured. The ability to encrypt any file can be accessed at any time, making the files completely unreadable without the correct credentials. It is impossible to even read the G code of the encrypted file, even while the secure machine is running the program. In the circumstances in which the CFAST card which houses the programs, the sensitive programs, is stolen, the encrypted programs cannot be accessed without the correct credentials. This feature is absolutely essential to military, aerospace and government contractors. How does Fagor HMI Elite play into lights out machining? Why does HTML5 matter to industrial manufacturers? Here are some reasons for shift towards HTML5 for software developers. Legacy-based technologies and frameworks are becoming obsolete. Microsoft no longer supports further advancements to VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, and ActiveX objects. All those old technologies, VBA and ActiveX, cause a lot of trouble and cannot be easily ported to mobile phones or tablets. It could be the case that one employee is able to interact with an HMI package on the particular model of an Android phone, while other employees using iPhones cannot access it. HMI Elite and HTML5 is the future. It offers consistency across multiple browsers. You name it, Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, you click it, you run it. Better mobile access to business intelligence. You can provide different levels for different business managers. Somebody in the scheduling doesn't have to change the part program, but maybe the programmer in the office would be able to change part program. The owner wants to see if the machine is running or not. Very important, next young generation of software programmers and developers already use HTML5. So when you hire a new college graduate, he or she given HMI project will hit the ground running. HTML5 is a future-proof open platform. HMI Elite is portable to other platforms. It offers connectivity at its best. It's a very important feature for Industry 4.0 and IIoT data collection. It offers possibility of connection from remote devices. With an only web design, everything is seen correctly on any device. Very important for business security is geolocation function. It will allow to control who can see your machine 
and allocate proper credentials to every connection, critical for aerospace and defense contractors. Finally, a better user experience with current and future touch technology. It will be easier to hire the new operators. They love to use their iPhone and iPads. It is all about providing much needed flexibility to industrial customers. Our manufacturing industry have been lagging behind consumer electronics market for so long. Now, finally, we can leverage HTML5 to make sure we give our customers, OEMs, deployment HMI agility so they can feed CNC machine content into hands of operators and users of remote monitoring stations. Lights Out Machining needs new HMI Elite created with HTML5. Truly a future-proof open platform. My name is Artur Gogulski. Thank you for your attention during this video presentation. We are ready for your live questions now.